Hi all, it's Z, and I'm back with an interesting story. So let's dive into it. A 28, male is married to 27, female, together for 5 years, married for about 3 years. No children, both working in good IT firms, no property together, currently renting an apartment, no loans, savings are separated, earning are about equal. I had seen this platform about one a year ago, so I am posting here for what to do. I found out she is cheating on me about 10 days ago as I heard her talking to someone that call ended as soon as I walked in so I at about 3 a.m. Check her phone and found call logs deleted of that time evening. 9 p.m. So I did some digging and found she uses Telegram which I never knew because we use WhatsApp for chatting and everything. I have been busy at work for about 3 months as I am competing for a promotion with other two individuals. So I was not able to give much time at home. Affairs with a work colleague for about 9 weeks when I found out they were sexting each other and sending nudes in different positions. I could tell it was just for sex and fun enjoying each other, I think. As she has mentioned this many times as she does not want him to think they are anything more. They had been physical 4 times. I had taken screenshots of everything did not have guts to confront her. I was very shaken thought it would be over if I confronted her for a few days. I was numb. Knew nothing what to do, she asked if everything was okay. I said problem at office, in office everyone was asking if I'm okay. So I told them that my aunt was dead. I also took leave for two weeks told the HR that my wife was cheating, then four days ago, she was going for trip to meet him at a hotel. So I was very stressed and heartbroken. I threw up in the morning had a very high fever. So I asked her to stay but she said that she would if she could but the work trip is important, then and there I knew I am divorcing. Asked my brother to follow her and take photos of her yesterday and it came out perfect as she is kissing him in one of them. I was crushed, I cried a lot, wanted to drink but my brother held me back. I wanted revenge so I am going to tell her that I am having an affair with another woman. And then leave her she will portray herself as victim and tell her friends and her parents who are very conservative. So I am sure they will be very very angry at me then I will tell everyone that she is the making fake stories and show proof of her cheating. Nobody will believe her again, even her parents. Asked my father's friend, also his neighbor, who is lawyer. He says divorce will be easy with evidence and nothing to divide as jewelry is the only thing we have to discuss as my mother gave my wife some of hers. I am going to leave today to live my friend who has an extra room he is living alone. Now waiting for her to come home with my ring off of my finger. Wish me best luck and tell me how to heal from this. I know she is very remorseful, she had done anything I could ask for but still, should I forgive her? I had written this post 8 days ago but only posted it yesterday so here is an update. When I told her about my affair, she was shocked I tried to leave fast as I could had my clothes and car already. She just would not let me go and started asking questions such as who is she? Do I really love her, not my wife? Then started mumbling and then I just shouted lit. Go, I had not shouted in 5 years of relationship with her, then I ran away to my car and left. After that I got at least 10 calls from her. Then I blocked her then texts started coming in hundreds I texted her. Not text her I will block her and told her to discuss future in a few days. She stopped texting after a few more and then came to agreement to meet. I met her after 3 days she was very weak as she had not eaten and her eyes were swollen. She started by saying that she knows that I have no affair because that the kind of person I am, and I never had enough time for an affair. I am leaving because of her affair and how sorry she is and how she wants forgiveness. After 30 minutes, I told her the truth, then she told me that meeting was not fake, just that meeting was only of 3 days the extra day was for her to fool around, that is why she could not stay to take care of me. I asked for her phone she gave and surprisingly, there was nothing deleted and she has told her affair partner to never contact, then blocked. She told me he was nothing to her, and she only loves me. She also told her HR about it, and she plans to quit and told a fair partner's wife with proof today evening. I said I don't believe her and wants to divorce, she just started crying and asking for another chance. This took about two hours. Then at our home a woman came my wife told me that she is a P's wife and then started asking for forgiveness from her, then gave proof of them hanging out kissing each. Other in texts that woman started to cry and curse my wife then, told her that she hopes that our marriage breaks she left with that I also gave her my number for additional proof. I asked her what she thought would be the outcome as we were supposed to buy a home this year and start a family in the next, then I left without her answer, she could not answer my question. 
I could tell that my wife was very sorry and I'm sure she will not repeat it again. But why should I give her another chance as one chance should be enough as I had spent whole of my five years dedicated to loving her and to make our living better? Then next day I got a call from her father telling me how sorry he is and it is up to me to divorce or not. But he told me that her daughter is sincere in forgiveness asked me to consider to give her another chance. Then nothing happened till today I started going to office and my wife has not resigned but her AP has it seems that HR has fired him not her put on hold as she important for team. Currently, I got this info from R through Facebook. She keeps texting me and also visited my brother thought I was living with him. She left as soon as she knew I was not there. Nothing happened till now. I know she is very remorseful she had done anything I could ask for but still should I forgive her? And to be honest, I still love her very much but I don't want a toxic or loveless marriage. Also, I want to be able to trust my partner with anything and everything.